Welcome to the Mind Over Munch Recipe Mainframe. Please state your request. You know, these all look like great recipes, but I'm really looking for one of the classics. Computer, locate cloud bread. Searching, 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 found cloud bread. Now this is what I'm talking about. Let's get started. Munchies, I didn't see you there. Welcome to the channel if you're new or if you're not. I'm Alicia and I am so glad you're here either way. For those of you who have been with the channel for a long time, you might remember my two ingredient takeover series. Well, my two ingredient cloud bread is one of our all time most popular recipes. So I thought we would go back to the mind over a munch recipe mainframe and revamp this recipe. Let's get to it. First, we're gonna line two trays with parchment and transfer them into the oven to heat them up so that the cloud bread can start cooking the second the mixture hits the tray. And then we'll start by separating three eggs, the whites from the yolks. My favorite approach is honestly just good old fashioned hands, using your fingers to let the yolk and the white separate naturally. In a large bowl, use a hand mixer to beat softened cream cheese until soft and fluffy. And then add the yolks of the separated eggs and optionally a pinch of salt. Use the hand mixer to combine. In the bowl of your stand mixer, add your egg whites and some cream of tartar and allow that to go on high until stiff peaks form. Now it's time to gently fold your yolk mixture into the egg white mixture, just barely until it becomes a pale yellow mixture. You don't wanna over mix this because you want it to stay fluffy. Remove your pans from the oven and then spoon dollops of the mixture onto the pans and flatten them out a little bit using the back of the spoon or a spatula to make your bread rounds. I went for four to five inch rounds and you want them about a half to three quarters of an inch tall. Transfer those back into the oven to bake until they've firmed up and have turned a light golden brown. The center should not be soft or jiggly at all. They should be set through completely. Allow to cool to the touch before enjoying or storing in a Tupperware or plastic bag. If you don't store them in plastic, they'll harden up like meringue. This is a great low carb alternative to regular bread. It's almost like a sandwich thin. The texture is surprisingly like bread. Look at that. It is a savory, fluffy cloud that serves as a great bread alternative. I hope you enjoyed this update of a classic Mind Over Munch recipe. Don't forget that you can find this and tons of other recipes at mindovermunch.com. I have linked this recipe in the description box as well. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you next time with a brand new episode. And remember, it's all a matter of Mind Over Munch.